vlog and as you can see I'm here in my favorite park in Epcot this morning I'm hoping you can hear me okay because the entrance music is very loud I love the music here at Epcot when you walk into the park and today Catherine and I are here to do flower and garden festival here she is we are so excited we're gonna be trying all the snacks aren't we or lots of the snacks not all of them we don't have a lot of stomach space for that but not not all of them today anyway but we're gonna do as many as we can yes and we can share so that's quite nice we can then get more things in the vlog to show you and I think we're just going to do that today. We're going to focus mainly on that, yeah. aren't we? So, yes. Yes, rides and things like that we'll probably do next time we come back. The weather's beautiful today. It's been a little bit rainy lately in Orlando, so we are very lucky. We're going to grab some coffee first of all, of course, because it's us. And then we are going to head into the World Showcase. I'm going to show you the toperies and everything as well. It's always beautiful. It's my favourite festival, Flower and Garden Festival. So buzzing to get inside and if this is the first of my vlogs you're seeing then hello and welcome don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new vlog I have loads of Disney World vlogs I also have some Tokyo Disney and Paris and everything so I will put some playlists in the description below but there's lots of previous vlogs to watch if you are looking for lots of Disney World action so I'll put that below Catherine's just gone inside this store to ask about this which may be something that we want to do we're not sure what it is what we need to do what you get at the end of it she's just going in to ask just while she's doing that let's look at some merchandise and there's a brand new mug here it says play in the park on the back it's really huge this is like a big big mug that is 16.99 this is also where you can get sunglasses and the ones that i'm wearing today actually came from this store that's these ones and they do have little Nikki's on the side. Okay, she said it's not available in there. They must have run out of it, I guess. And they said World Traveller is where we'll be able to ask about that. We're just heading in here to grab a Starbucks. The line does not look too bad. That's good news. And uh, get our coffee down and then we're going to head off. I have my coffee and this morning I went for a coffee nut latte. I did ask for just a little bit of syrup though. If you like a bit of flavour and a little bit of sweetness but not too much like me, then ask them to like go easy on the syrup because otherwise it can be very sweet. I don't think I've had this flavour for ages actually. Oh yeah, that's perfect. There's just a hint of it. They actually could have put a little bit more in, but I'd rather just a little bit than too much. And I'm just going to take a look at my little flower and garden festival passport so we can decide what we're going to get. Like I said, because I've got Catherine with me, I've got a travel buddy, we can split the snacks, which means we can basically eat twice as many snacks as we're sharing. Because normally when it's just me, it is hard for me to show too many different things. So this will be really good today try several different things hopefully although we are eating in the japan pavilion this evening it also tells you the toperies that you can find as well i'm really excited to see the Groot topiary there's a Groot one uh, this time which i can't wait to see that one thing i know is always really popular over at the honey bistro is the chicken and waffles and that does sound like something that i think Catherine might like so we may get that it's world showcase which sorry can we take a moment for that pun because whoever thought of that name is a little bit of a genius that's like a soft serve place um, they have a few different things. Peanut butter flavour saucer. That actually sounds amazing. Then they have the croissant over at the France Pavilion. They also have pulled duck confit. Is it confit? How is that how you say it? You don't What's pronounce that? the tea. No idea. Is it confit? I thought it was confit. I can't say anything. Like literally I mispronounce everything always. American Adventure have a panini with ham, salami, provolone and Swiss cheese. A spicy chicken gumbo. That sounds like something Catherine would eat. Potato pancakes and toasted pretzel bread with black forest ham over in Germany. China has a spicy chicken skewer with a peanut sauce. Crab, cheesy crab wontons. They sometimes have those in Nine Dragons in the restaurant. And they have pan fried vegetable dumplings. So not spring rolls, but I may try those because they might be good. So we're all done with our coffee and just coming out the side door here. We're not going to be doing Guardians today, but later in the trip, definitely we will do it's one of our favorites and i still need to get disco inferno it still hasn't happened no, one I'm day yeah, I need to get it. Also, I just want to say, Catherine's little headband thing, because I know someone will ask, is from Tokyo Disney. Yeah. How cute! It's so good in Tokyo Disney, because the merch is like a quarter of the price. These were £11. Yeah, they do have such nice stuff too, don't they? Oh, they it's have... the ultimate. Yeah, 
but it's very cute it's very matching matching moment it's which we like really around bad. here i also made my own keychain out of a pre-mac munchlin that oh I that's found. so cute how cute is that daisy duck that's love that spring. you're very springy today <laughs> and we've got the first topiary here which is donald and he has a little bumblebee on his head oh, with his eyes looking up that is so cute we've got some prehistoric plants here they've got like little dinosaurs in with them let me just see if i can zoom in So you see there, there's little dinos in among the plants. We've got rabbit foot fern and king sago. And we've got Huey, Dewey and Louie over here by Test Track. I'm always forgetting that the ooey gooey and Louie. Ooey gooey and Louie. Louie. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, we're here at Brunch Cop for our first Flower and Garden Festival snack. Catherine is getting the avocado toast. I'm gonna get the fried cinnamon roll bites and we're gonna share both. Um, Catherine just wants a little bite of the cinnamon rolls. I'm actually quite hungry now because I've had nothing yet today apart from my coffee. Okay, we have our items from Brunch Cot. This is the avocado toast and look how pretty it is. It's got like a little flower. It's really nice. It is, it looks very nice. And I have the cinnamon roll bites with a bacon and it has like a kind of icy glaze on top. This looks really good. I think this is gonna be quite nice. It certainly sounds like it's going to be quite nice. You always have to actually try it first. Let's see. I was going to use a fork for this, but it's just not working. I'm going to have to just lift it. I'm trying to get a bit that's got the bacon on as well, so we can taste that. I'm going to give it a 6.5. I feel like anything I try first is going to get a lower rating because I haven't tried other things. So I feel like I can't go too high. That is really nice. And they're, they do taste a bit like a cronut. They don't have the same texture. Um, the texture is the best part about a cronut, but it does taste very very similar you taste the cream cheese frosting and the bacon is like just a nice little addition there's quite a lot of bacon like in the bottom of the thing i don't think i'm going to eat all the bacon but just a little bit on there is really nice i'm going to try the avocado toast and i didn't get a knife i'm, I'm going to put this underneath i'm going to lean forward and it does have a flower which i'm going to eat mm, it's nice nice mm -hmm. It does just taste like avocado toast. It is quite salty, I will say, that's but, that, but that's good. I couldn't taste the flour though, so I'm assuming the flour tastes of nothing, but it was, yeah, it's nice. This is actually really good. This is better than I thought. I'm going to up it it's to actually, a seven. I actually think that needs to be an eight. Oh, Catherine's giving it an eight. Mm, really nice. Good. What about your avocado toast rating? It's thick because of the saltiness. Yeah, it's quite salty, isn't yeah, it? I don't understand why it's so salty. Mm. I was actually quite shocked by how salty mm, it is. Need some yeah. lime in it to offset the salt. Okay, yeah, but still nice. It is nice. I think I would probably rate it a six. I left her unsupervised for ten minutes it's and really look cute what happened. I have one of these, but he doesn't have a little orange. I love he's got an orange sippy cup and he's a sippy cup. I know that one's cuter than the one I have because he's got his own. He's like a and sippy then, cup with a sippy cup. Yeah, and he's got an orange smoothie in it, but I won't be able to drink it because it's really sugary. Oh, okay. But I had a sippy, but then look at this. There was so much good merch as well. There was oh, a is popsicle it? tumbler, but it's fruity. Oh. But this is really cute. It's like a trash bin. I don't know if this is going to be weird or not, but it's like a Disney trash bin. But it's orange first. Oh, that's cute. I have a Main Street one of those. Look. Oh, that's and really I thought, cute. Like as decor in the summer. So I feel like this is more summer than spring. Yes, it I is. I could yeah. have this out on the side because I have like a little shelf in my kitchen. And yeah. I've got like Kiki's delivery service at the minute. I thought that could come out for summer. I like that one way better than the one I have. Next up, we have Farmer's Feast, which is where you can get the grilled corn on the cob. I am going to try and get a knife and like cut the corn off the cob because it always makes such a mess otherwise. And as you're going around, just make sure you do take in all of the displays, the flowers. This is so beautiful with the orange. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So this is it, the grilled street corn on the cob with savoury garlic spread and plant-based cheese. So it is plant-based cheese for anyone who is interested in that. The corn is actually grilled outside the booth, so you come to this side bit to get the corn whereas the other items they give you from inside the booth so that's cool here is our grilled corn and i am going to try to cut it off like i said i've got a knife and fork and i'm thinking it'll all just mix together with the garlicky crumb and stuff that's what i'm hoping because it gets stuck in my teeth yeah. when i say it makes a mess that's what i'm talking about it, it just gets stuck in your teeth and it'll drive me crazy so i'm gonna try and cut some off that actually worked really well and now you can just scoop up the corn so let's give this a whirl i'm gonna get it's actually really good because the garlic crumb does mix in so then you can just, yeah, scoop it up. This is way better than trying to chomp the corn off the cob, <laughs> which is just... Would be me and it'd end up everywhere. Yeah, we'd end up everywhere, so let's see. Nice. Oh, it's so good. It's a fork waving moment. The fork waving moment. Mm, because it's got cheese and garlicky, I, I just love it. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10. 
I know that seems pretty generous oh for corn, but I love it. It does smell very garlicky. I'm a garlicky fan. So. If you're a garlicky fan, you'll love it. What? You won't get in the bottle of garlic. It's mega garlicky, isn't it? Oh my, ooh, that is really good garlic. It's surprisingly good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'll give that an 8.5 as well. Nice. Mm. They have Songbird Meadow here where they have lots of little bird houses and bird feeders there to attract birds and hear some nice bird song. I'm not hearing much right now. And we are going to go and take a look at the gardens later, but Catherine really wants to see them at night time. Look how beautiful this is. Got Mickey and Minnie, and then you've got Pluto here as well. It's a little photo spot here, so there's a photo pass photographer. They have these little boards here, and you can actually smell this, and a really nice scent comes out of it. This is just so beautiful though. I'm just kind of stood here looking at all the flowers. This is by far my favorite time of year in Epcot. Look at this. It's just stunning. It looks absolutely beautiful at this time of year. Honestly, if you are deciding what time of year to come, Flower and Garden Festival, like in the spring, 100% I would say is the best time. And this is the topiary display this year, just as you're coming into the World Showcase. It's so impressive when you think of the work that goes into this with the horticultural cast members who do all of this, like this must be so much prep and so much work. Something smells very barbecue-y through here and I think it's actually at Trowel and Trellis, which is where we're just about to go now. It's kind of opposite the Joffrey stand, just a bit further down. I think this is where we get the chocolate terrarium thing, yeah, which Catherine really want. wants, yep. So we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna kind of go back the other way and go towards Canada. Catherine's just taking some pictures of the uh, there's, the no, shade. there's no shade, it's so hot and it's also hard to like take pictures. So we've got the, the cloud brolly is doing its thing. Cute, it's like a little it? chocolate mousse and then it's got, it almost looks like moss on top I think and, it's and little matcha. flowers. I'm hoping it's matcha because yeah. I love matcha so. That's very cute. <laughs> I'm cracking up. I can hold your umbrella for <laughs> you. Catherine's holding the umbrella Well, I do. There's a little show for us. It's like I'm royal or something it's like where's my palm leaf <laughs> you're wearing like a british crown so maybe that can be the there you I go your majesty have, i literally have my little like m <laughs> crown on i'm honestly not that extra i promise i do not get... i did i did volunteer <laughs> i do not get people to hold umbrellas over me i absolutely promise oh, you right. need a bigger bite oh, yeah, than that, that. Was... what's that it's like the tiniest bite ever that was she really like lame. does all these really cute bites and i'm like <laughs> rounding it straight in my mouth that's quite i've got a yeah, lot that's of the... a I've got a lot of the moss. I keep calling this moss. I think it's yeah. just like crumb stuff. Matcha crumble. I think. But Catherine was saying just a minute ago when she tried it, it's really dense and mm. thick. I was expecting like a light mousse, no, but it's, no, it's like really mm. thick. Mmm. It's nice, isn't it? It's really rich, though. Do you see what I mean? Oh so yeah. The size of it for what you get, I said you can definitely share it because it's massive. I could not eat that. Like yeah, all, of, all that. of that, I would feel it's absolutely. It's huge, sick. isn't it? It's really nice. It tastes like a chocolate bar. Yeah. Like it's a delicious. really yeah, it's really nice. And the crumb on top, like, mm. is crunchy. That's really nice, but it is very rich. Like, I would take my hat off to anyone who can eat that on their yeah, own because I would very, feel very sick. Rich. Really nice, though. Yeah. I probably could if I didn't have a gastric bypass. I could probably <laughs> knock that in. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't. That maybe for sick. I'm gonna give that a. 7.5. Yeah, that's good. 7.5 out of 10. Very yeah. nice. It is really nice. Okay, we're just heading through to Pineapple Prodena Prodenade? Pro Prodenade? <laughs> Pineapple Promenade. And we just went through the store there just to get like, not even 30 seconds of aircon, yeah. like 20 as we were felt walking nice. through. <laughs> it felt nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> it is so warm. And Pineapple Promenade is just down this way and then we're gonna head around through Canada. We've got a little break from snacks after this. So we're having the Violet Lemonade and then nothing till Japan, I think. Yay. Can serve a bit of stomach space for later. I think I'm gonna get the Violet Lemonade next time because the line behind me is really long and it's like in the sun so it'll be very very hot standing in that queue so I will get it next time we come to Epcot it's always good to have some snacks to save for next time and we've got several visits to this park and you can see here in the Canada pavilion the scaffolding is down that was up last time so it's under construction it's now all done and look, look at, this. at this how cute is this topiary look at Bambi I love this this is so cute I don't think I'll be able to pull this off I absolutely think you could pull that off. That's really? very you, yeah. Is it? Yeah, because it's cute and it's pink and white. It's very you. I love that. Oh my gosh, how cute is it from the back? Let me take a picture. Mm, decision time. She's having some trouble deciding. Sun holidays. Yeah. And you're wearing strappy dresses. You buy the pool. Yeah. I don't really have any hats like this. It is nice. And I like the pink. 
Yeah. Get it. So we're just heading through to the UK and I'm going to stop at this Joffrey's cart to get some kind of cold drink. I think they might do an apple flavoured drink, kind of like the peach iced tea, but apple. Let me see if that's still a thing. Joffrey's did not have any of the iced teas or any of the like cold drinks. So I'm going to have to press on and find something else. I'm getting rather desperate for a drink now, so I need to find something. And here we've got Piglet and Tigger and Eeyore. And over here we've got Rabbit and Pooh Bear. Oh, I love him. Catherine's taking a bit of footage over in the UK pavilion, so I'm gonna head over to France to get a drink. I'm honestly so parched. I really need to get something. I really wanted something like an iced tea. That would have been perfect. I'll see what I can find. I'm sure there'll be something, and um, I'm gonna meet her over here in France. Look how beautiful this looks, though. At this time of year, like in the Magic Kingdom, you have the pink blossoms out. Well, Epcot always looks beautiful, but during Flower and Garden Festival, it is just something else. And we will be eating here at Chefs de France later in the trip, so that'd be exciting. I love it here. It's a really nice restaurant and we're having like a France themed day so we're gonna have a dinner here. Oh look at this Disneyland Paris bag. That's very sparkly. That's $98. Has like this clear bit here and like little sparklies inside. This is so cute. It's got little wind chimes and little water features and stuff. This is for the Flower and Garden Festival. I'm sure it's one of the little special gardens and we are here now in the Japan Pavilion for our reservation. We are heading upstairs to what used to be Tokyo Dining, Shikisai Sushi Izakaya. That's the name that I can never remember. It's quite a long name. You can take the stairs, but you know me with stairs. Not good. <laughs> Here as well because when we left the fireworks just started, it was perfect and it's like a platform. Yes, and you it get is good. Really, really good view, and you also see the ball straight ahead. Yeah, so they're perfect, and there was no one up there. Maybe we can but watch it from there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this does look different. Oh, wow, yeah. This is the entrance to this one, and then you go to the left down here to Tepanado, but none of this was here before. This is all different. And they've got this little blossom tree outside and people have left really cute little notes down here saying great food. I can see someone's just put their name on theirs. Wonderful time with friends. So that's really neat, love that. Okay, we are seated in here and it does look kind of similar, doesn't it, to when it was Tokyo Dining, but a little bit different. I'm at Tokyo Dining. Oh, okay. I'm at the Tepanyaki. Tepanado one. Yeah, yeah, where it was like a yeah, yeah. yeah. restaurant. Is that still there? Yeah, that's just down the oh, down the is. corridor. And the menu is actually really, really pretty. Like even the outside is nice, but inside it has like pictures of everything, which is quite unusual with Disney menus. Normally you can't actually see everything. And they do have a set thing here. So you can have a starter, um, an Izakaya plate a roll and then a dessert and then they have starter main and dessert so there's like different options and like a kids option and then you can pick things like from this list then they have the regular menu they have all the sushi look at this like hashi bridge it's a hundred dollars that, that, oh that's meant to be really good that. yeah and it serves two to four people and it's like sushi on an actual bridge that is very very cool I mean, not for me because I don't like sushi. I'm gonna get some vegetable tempura. That golden Philadelphia roll is literally unbelievable. Oh, what one's that? It's um, like cream cheese and um, salmon. Golden Philadelphia roll. Yeah, so Catherine says this is amazing. And they have these skewers, which are shrimp, beef, and chicken. They also have some veggie ones. So it's quite nice to have like veggie options or more veggie options. They do have rice and noodles here as well. And they do have a little bit more in the way of dessert than they used to. There used to be hardly any desserts. They have a mango mousse cake, a cheesecake, and also this like strawberry parfait thingy, which looks really good. And then more sushi at the back here. So there's actually a lot on this menu, and then drinks there at the back. They also have the okonomiyaki, which is a Japanese savoury pancake with bacon. Very good. Catherine said that's really good, yeah. she had that last time. Look at us ordering three dishes each. <laughs> I was saying to Victoria, like the portions aren't massive, massive portions. Yeah. But what you've ordered is really nice. She hasn't ordered the big crazy one, but no. she's got a vegetable udon and it's really, really tasty. We had it the beef before. Yeah. I liked every single dish when we came here last night. So yeah. Delicious. And what did you order? I've got takoyaki, which are octopus balls, to show you. Oh wow, that's uh, out there. Yeah. Just miso soup, so I wanted something hot. And then I ordered the golden Philadelphia roll, which I had last Obviously. Night. So good, honestly. It's so good. Nice. Yeah. And I have a little green tea going on here, a hot tea. I always get a green tea when I come to here or um, Tepanado. First item has arrived, and it's Catherine's miso soup. So just a very nice, easy, simple, simple food. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we were just sat here, and the cast member came over 
and covered up our bags with a little um, napkin. So we don't spill anything on it. That is so cute. The service in here is amazing. They're so nice. Yeah, like everyone's so nice. We need to just take a moment to appreciate this tomato salad. It's a work of art. It is a work of art. It's like one giant tomato and then it's got all the stuff around the outside and I'm I am so excited for the I've never been so excited for a salad in my life. What is this stuff on the outside? Dried mushroom? I think it's like mushrooms and then there's truffle. Oh um, and avocado slice it. Yeah. Oh God, that looks so this looks so good. I'm very excited. And I also have noodles. This normally comes with beef, but I got it with just vegetables. And I do have tempura coming as well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat it all, but I wanted to show as many different things as possible, but this normally would have beef on it and I got it without because I don't really eat beef. Well I eat burgers, but <laughs> put a Big Mac on top of there, I'll eat it. No joking, obviously. And that is Catherine's Philadelphia roll. Is this cool? So good. I hope it's as good as last time. Yeah, that looks Philadelphia roll. That looks amazing. I was just wondering how I was gonna tackle the salad because of the tomato was whole it's actually chopped up but they put it back together and it looked whole didn't it when yeah. it was there it just like fell apart so yeah easy. love that she looks happy with the uh the roll honestly the best sushi that i've ever had oh that wow that's high praise nice this is Catherine's octopus with wow can you see it all moving is that making me feel sick? Literally is making me feel unwell. What's, what's, what's moving? Oh, why are they doing that? Why is that happening? They just do it with the heat and the movement. Oh no. <laughs> it smells very fishy. That's your worst nightmare. At least it is, it is, it is. But I'm sure it's very nice. And here is the tempura. And this is wasabi powder, he was saying. Yeah, I'm not going to have that because that will burn my mouth very much so. But this is a lot of food, but we really wanted to try as many things as possible. We probably won't eat it all, but it looks so good. I've overdone it though. I can eat that now. Yeah, okay, I've probably got a huge mess around my mouth and my chin now because I've been eating noodles, so excuse me if I have. That was so delicious. I'm actually going to give that a 9 out of 10. Like, it was really, really nice. Yeah, like the, the crispy mushroom on the tomato salad was incredible. The noodles had really nice flavour. The tempura is what I ate the least of just because it is quite oily. So if I eat too much of it, it does make me feel sick, but it was really, really nice. Okay, 10 out of 10 for me. Like, it was the first time as well. Yeah. Like, Literally, it's unreal. Like everything I've tried here, and I have tried most of the food like in Japan as well, mm. and I still think it's not that Yeah. But the only thing is, it is expensive for what it is. Yeah. But it's still a delicious meal. Yeah. And you can also sit back here, and you can see the kitchen. You can see them making all the sushi. And they have some booth seating back here as well. And it's time for frushi. I left room for dessert. I didn't eat all my food and I really wanted to get some frushi. So we're gonna share this. Catherine's never had it unbelievably. So let's get her some frushi. It's that really nice time of night as well where everything is just starting to light up. It's very, very pretty. It is time for the best flower and garden snack. I love this so much. It is good. Some people like it, some people don't. So I'm just balanced here, going to try the frushi. I will be honest with you, the best way to eat this without getting in a massive mess is if you can just put this all in. All in, in one, one. one. Down in one. Obviously it is a little bit large, but if you try and like bite it, it falls apart and you end up with like, it goes all over the floor. So I am just, excuse me while I just kind of <laughs> shove this in. That is a big bite. Ten and out of 10. 10 out of 10. Straight up a 10 out of 10. Always. It's the first 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. We're just over at the America Pavilion and look at this topiary. That's so pretty. What the heck? Tiana. Yeah, this is amazing. Look at that. That's my favourite so far for sure. Look how nice Italy is looking here, all lit up. I love this pavilion so much. I can't wait to go to Italy for real. I'm going this year. I just need to organise myself. I'm very excited for it. And they have the Lady and the Tramp Topiary down here, which is one of the most beautiful. This is actually more beautiful in the day, I have to say. We were just saying, um, Lady actually looks a tiny bit strange this she year. She looks like me after a heavy Saturday night <laughs> the next day. Or in the Donna Kebab shop after a night out. I'm not Just sure what's going on. Like, I, don't, I feel like she did not look like this last year. He's looking at her like, what? what? Got Snow White and Dopey over here. It actually looks really good. Right, yeah, so he does. Look, why do they look so good and the lady looks so <laughs> I think Lady was not lit well. Someone's done her dirty there with the lighting. I think that's what it is. She probably, in the day, I expect she looks like phenomenal. There was something a bit scary going on. See, Snow White looks very beautiful there. Yeah, how good that is. 
Wow. Catherine was just saying she's not a fan of these trees. They look like the Wamping Willow. They do look a little bit like the Wamping Willow. I feel like they, they're ruining the vibe a little bit. Yeah, they're normally up leaves on, right? I, I think so. It's cute, isn't it? To put your juice in. Yeah, well, I've got a bag. Oh, I love that. I've got one of these that says milk on it, like a little milk yeah, jug, and they've got the it? juice. Oh, you good there. How much is it? Uh, oh, that's what Catherine got earlier. Yeah, 12 but I thought it's like a cute little... Oh, oh my god, that was so close, I'm oh. scared of moths. <laughs> oh my god, that was the wrong time for a moth to land on me. Oh, no. oh, holy moly. And there's these ears too. Look at him like sitting in his little flower pot. Oh, I like the plush ears, really oh, cute that's character. cute. We love orange bird. Oh, that's random. What is why, that? Why would you get that? Is it a carrot? Pineapple orange. Oh, it's a pineapple. I thought pineapple. Not, I don't know even if it is a pineapple. Not me thinking that was a carrot. Look at the shape of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a very cute looking carrot. I'm gonna that. I don't know where I was going with that. Does anyone know what this is? I don't know what that is at all. That's no, very it. bizarre. I was actually talking about this bag in the podcast the other day. I do a podcast over on Patreon. I did not realise, though, that yeah. he pops in and out. You could have Look, he's like peeking, peeking out. out. Oh, you could have him pulling out. That has just made me want to buy this bag. Yeah, how much is it? 88 dollars. Yeah. Now he looks like he's gone to the side, like know, on this yeah. way. He's, he's like, like hello. <laughs> so we had a slight change of plans. We were just figuring out um, other days that we're going to be in Epcot and we're going to watch the fireworks a different day. We're kind of a little bit tired. We only just got here really yeah. and we're feeling the pace, aren't we? Yeah, and also there's a free shuttle bus, so we may get the free shuttle, but I do want to go see the World Guard. Yeah, before we leave. We'll go see that. Oh, I could even do that with Hannah instead. I'm just getting a picture of Hannah right now. So I'm going to go have a cosy hotel night. Yeah. Yeah, if you overdo it too much at the beginning, there's no point really, especially if you're here for like two weeks and you have plenty of times, plenty of opportunities to come back. If you are feeling it a little bit, obviously we ate that big dinner and we were like, why are we gonna wait another hour and a half for fireworks? We're gonna be back, so. There's no point rushing it. And also our jet lag's still in. I've been up since half six working, so I'm kind of like, yeah. my dry eye is popping off. <laughs> Maybe we should just go to bed. <laughs> I, was, I was getting scared of the eye. I was like, oh, the eye. I'm redder and redder. <laughs> I'm only joking, honestly. <laughs> if you do want to see the fireworks, right this instant though, I will link a vlog below when I was here for the debut of this fireworks show. And I had a position right by the railings. You can see it really, really good. So I'll link that vlog below just in case anybody was hoping to see them right now. You can go and watch that vlog and you can watch them right now. And don't worry, we will be back to look in the Mexico Pavilion, which is my fave. We'll do that on the next Epcot trip. Love it in there. My 100% most favorite. World Showcase Pavilion. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. And just a little tip if you're exiting the World Showcase and you're wanting to go either to Future World, you're exiting the park, whatever you're doing, if you come around this way by the Odyssey Centre, you'll cut off a lot of the crowds, especially at this time of night. It is very, very crowded in the World Showcase. It can be a little bit uh, much walking through if you don't like crowds, whereas if you come this way, it's a lot quieter and you just skirt around the edge. And we're just gonna do a quick club cool stop on the way to the gardens. Gonna get a little cucumber sprite, I think. The watermelon one's nice, and I, I mean, it's controversial, but I do love a cucumber sprite. It's not everyone's cup of tea. That one's like barbecue sauce. Mm. The China one, is the sour plum. It's kind of weirdly nice. I, I don't like it personally, but it tastes like um, bonfire smoke to me. I think Moldova is quite nice. It is so pretty around here now. Yeah. I think we're gonna come one day and have like a work morning or afternoon maybe even the whole day and um, they have powerpoints over the other side we can just have a little epcot work day nip over to starbucks for our beverages throughout the day i mean that is the dream isn't it having this as your office for the day just on our way to get an uber because the bus times are actually not going to work out we just checked them and uh it's too early for one and we'll be waiting around for one of them if we uh do it now so we'll just get an uber but we've got to have our last little look at spaceship earth like we always do it always makes my camera go crazy with the lights just as we're leaving we got the little light show that's special for flower and garden festival that's really bad Okay, it's brand we've, new. We've had a crisis. It's brand new and I've put it in my orange bird bag. And it's leaked. And it's stained. This is probably going to stain because I use artificial colours as well. Oh. I'm hoping this is plastic. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I. 
I'm annoyed at myself. Oh, I'm so sad for you. Oh, I can't believe that. Hey, we are back now. I've just taken my ears off and I feel like my hair is a bit, uh, a bit wild. And I've just told Orange Bird off. Yeah, Catherine is unhappy about her hat. Orange Bird's just looking cute as if like, what did I do? I tried to show it in, but he's too cute. He is too cute. We, she tried to scrub it out. It's not really working. I think maybe some stain remover might take it I out a little bit. Also, but I just feel like with the like, preservatives here, they really go ham on the like... Colours and colors, stuff. So I don't have much face. Please mm. put in the comments if you know anything. So that was a bit of a bummer. Um, but anyway, these things happen. It is, we're not going to cry over spilled orange bird smoothie no, had a very I nice am. day I'm 100 gonna cry. catherine's gonna get in bed and cry herself to sleep <laughs> over it no we're joking not really um, we had a really good day it was really really nice the food was amazing in the new restaurant that we went yeah. to it was kind of like similar stuff that tokyo dining used to do they always had sushi and everything but so much better like just incredible it was really really nice i would highly recommend that and if you time it right and you get a table by the window you could actually watch the fireworks from there those tables was a very um hot ticket at that time of night like everybody wants to sit there but that would be really good i have done that before and that is um, a really good spot to watch from and the rest of the day was really nice we tried lots of nice snacks we didn't get everything on our hit list because it is too much for one day even though we were sharing stuff and um not having too much of everything it is still hard to fit it all in so we'll have another day in epcot we will be doing the rides next time so we want to do guardians spaceship earth maybe ratatouille and do some more snacks so we really enjoyed it i will never ever tire of going to Epcot I love it every time it's the one park that I just I feel like I could go there like virtually every day and never get sick of it yeah, I just it's so, cool. it's so good I just love it so much so we will definitely be back and tomorrow we're actually having ourselves a little rest day but we will be going to Target and I'm going to put that vlog over on my other channel Victoria in detail so if you want to see us let loose in Target I'm going to show a little bit more than I normally do in that vlog I try and um show what I can but sometimes I'm in a bit of a hurry so tomorrow I will try and just show everything I can. I'm also going to go to the Apple store to try and get my laptop fixed, keep everything crossed for me. I hope they're able to do something with it because that will not be good if I can't get it fixed. But let's not think about that and cross that bridge when <laughs> I come to it. But we've had such a good couple of days, Magic Kingdom and Epcot. Like I said, we'll be doing a rest day, but I will do the Target vlog on Victoria in detail. And the following day after that, I'm trying to think, maybe Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios? I can't remember. I'll need to refer to the plan. Um, but lots more to come. Um, all of the parks we're going to be doing we're going to have a boardwalk day as well um, lots of different restaurants that I haven't shown in the vlogs before so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss anything and tap the bell icon and that way you're always notified when a new video goes up which will be Saturday at 5 p.m very occasionally it differs if there's been a problem but usually it's a Saturday at 5 and I also just want to say a huge thank you and hello to everybody who came up to say hello today in the parks all of you are so nice when you come up and say hi I love hearing about your trip and having a little chat with you all so thank you for saying hi and if you do see us in the parks please do come over and say hello we always love having a little chat with you and thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this vlog as always i really do appreciate each and every one of you for watching i hope you're all well and having a great day and i'll see you in the next one bye oh like a big chocolate mousse inside always reminded me of the terrarium at oh, Epcot yeah. the other day oh, yeah is it nice Oh my god, that's a really good one. Is it? Yeah, try it.